What's going on guys, Mr. J for President here and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Xbox Live on an iPhone and iPod Touch. I'm going to demonstrate this on an iPhone 4S here. There is an application made by Microsoft, the parent company of Xbox and Xbox Live that you can download off the App Store for free and the application is called Xbox Smart Glass. This application enables you to send messages, check on your statuses on other friends, that are on Xbox Live currently, or just gives you an overview of your profile on Xbox Live. This is what you are greeted with when you first open up the application that goes to the Xbox service and you just put your information there. As you can see, this is what it looks like when you're signing in. And what you see here first is a last play option, gives you like a slideshow of all the little apps you have been using on Xbox. And here are your recently used applications. Next up is the social part of the application. Briefly see your profile, your avatar, your friends, mail, and beacons. And here on the first tab, you will see any friends that are online currently. Um, you can see what they're playing, what they're doing right now. Just briefly like a little status bar thing, just like how on the regular Xbox console shows. Your message area, which you can see you recently sent messages to your Xbox profile, or you could just compose a message to anyone on your friends list. Next up is your recently used applications. It just shows you your most used applications. Say if you want to click on one of these applications here, you just go ahead and just tap on it, and it gives you a brief detail of what the application does. You can also use this as a remote control for your Xbox too as well. You can press here to play it on the Xbox, but right now uh, this functionality does not work with me right now. I do not have a compatible router, so. Next up is your discovery tab option here. And as you can see here, you could go through many of the options Xbox Live does give you. There's a picks for you option, just like on the Xbox console. You go through games. You can purchase games as well as music, and it'll be sent to your Xbox console. There's also a Bing search option where you could do search on YouTube, look up TV shows, stuff like that. The little tab here allows you to edit your account information. You can sign off, sign back in, refresh. And say if you want to switch different profiles, you can go ahead on the settings option and you can go ahead and sign out. There's also smart glass autoplay, sounds, privacy settings, all that good stuff you could change in your application. So this is pretty much the what the Xbox Live application does from Microsoft. See your friends send them a message to as well. If you guys like this video, Appreciate a like rating, it helps me out a lot. See you guys in the next one. Peace.